Hey guys, Kamlan here. Um, I just came back from the Seed Story Cup, uh, which was yesterday, and uh, I wanted to do, a, to do a video on the decks I played, on my experience at the Seed Story Cup, because I got uh, asked so many times, especially uh, about the Dragon Warrior. And uh, yeah, let's go. Um, the Seed Story Cup was an amazing ex experience. I've already been to the last one as a player, and they re-invited me. Um, thanks a lot, Tech TV, for uh, in this case already. And it was such an amazing time because uh, Seed Story Cup is very special and unique uh, as a cup. Uh, it's not like the Dream Hacks, which are fun as well. But uh, Dream Hacks is a, a huge Swiss tournament. You have to play seven rounds a day, and it's exhausting because you play like ten or twelve hours straight. Hearthstone and uh, Seed Story Cup is more um, more like. Um, like meeting the family ki kinda uh, in, in a certain kind of way um, because everyone's friendly it's not uh, only about competing with other guys but also having a, a good time and uh, most of the players en enjoy um, the, the the breaks between the games and you only have to play I think if you win the group you only have to play two matches a day which is uh, I would say doable and uh, they spent the time uh, playing Overwatch or Heroes of the Storm or whatever um, against each other or poker as well very uh, yeah, very much poker and uh, yeah it's it's really nice to see all the, the people you see um, through the year over and over and uh, actually you have some time to spend time with them but okay let's go back uh, to the tournament um, I just show you my, my lineup. Um, I couldn't really prepare for the tournament. Um, uh, I've barely played since the experience uh, since the um, expansion came out, uh, so no experience here, and so I was not too comfortable um, bringing any decks because, um, as you can see, my lineup consisted of the uh, consists of the uh, the Dragon Warrior, and. Uh, Probably the strongest tech in the lineup. Um, uh, huge thanks to Tobias and Xyrus who helped me with this list. Especially Tobias um, who came up with the idea um, of playing upgrade instead of blood to Icar. And I tested it only a couple of times because I only had one and a half day to prepare for the tournament and I haven't played these decks before. Um, besides the, the pirates, I started playing Rogue one week ago. I never played it before because I always wanted to play it, but it was just too weak. It was good in the beginning when Hearthstone came, came out, but I was free to play and I couldn't play it because I didn't have Edwin or Thanos or Leroy. So um, basically it was my first experience playing Rogue uh, for one week. And I brought it to the tournament, but I felt like I can I can play it um, on a, on a above average pro level. And uh, the dragons are pretty strong, also with the Akane Reaper. Um, I was thinking about um, playing Malkorak instead of the Reaper. But if you play um, double, uh, where is it? Upgrade instead of um, Blood to Echo, which is an active card, which can be used to um, buff Fiery Warriors. But you can also play it in the early game against aggressive decks uh, in combination with the small time Buccaneer. And it also bluffs your blood cell cultists because I wasn't sure. Um, I, I was casting Neumünster. That's one thing why I couldn't play myself or practice or do anything. Um, and I saw many warriors of the good players running two blood cell cultists, and I was like not convinced because I think it's one of the strongest cards in, in the three mana slot creature wise. But um, it was never yellow. It was always a three four, and it's a pirate so. Yeah, you sometimes get patches out of it as well. So I wanted to play it and upgrade fits perfect in the deck list. It makes the deck um, faster and more aggressive. So you can push uh, face even more. Uh, yeah, Pavel mentions it uh, during his uh, cast a lot, um, like uh, doing their honorable plays. And um, it's way better in the mirror match, therefore. Because in the mirror match, the faster deck wins. And it's, uh, it's better against Rogue as well. So I think overall it's it's a better deck, and you can out tempo shamans as well. Okay, the second list is uh, the list of uh, Exiris, um, my my teammate as as well as Tobias as my teammate, and uh, it's one yeah, it's just card by card the list of Exiris. It's a pretty good list. Um, it's still a list playing um, double SI agent. There are multiple lists playing Questing Adventurer. 
um, I prefer this last because it's a little bit faster and it can stop the early aggression, uh, aggression of pirates a lot easier than the other decks. It's not as good versus the Reno Lock, but my um, normal strategy was to ban Reno Lock. So, um, and on the other hand, you are, you, you are ahead versus the Reno Lock anyhow. Why would you attack against it? Especially if you ban it, right? Uh, the third deck, um, it's I'm not sure if this list is good to be honest, and uh, it only plays one spirit clause, no Thalnos. Um, I like it a lot uh, with only one spirit clause, uh, double saucy deckhand because you run five weapons. It's also possible to run run six weapons, but then you should play Thalnos if you play double spirit clause in my opinion, and the double rock biter. It's a bit clunky. Um, but maybe it's fine. I cut. Uh, I did cut um, the sec uh, the first and the second lava burst, because Jade Lightning um, is not overloading into Doomhammer. I'm playing double seven sevens, one Argent Horse Rider, Flame Tank Totem, and South Sea Deckhand. Um, yeah, Flame Tank Totem really works well with those three charge minions, and with patches as well. So um, if you want, to give it a try. I'm not sure if it's the best list. Um, it's a little bit faster. And Arch and Horse Rider is also very good in the, in the mirror match and stuff like that. So I think um, the list is okay. It's not, not the best list out there, I guess. Um, dragons Riding No Pirates. Um, as you can see, I just named it with Dragons and Pirates all the time because um, basically that's what the meter is like. Dragons, Pirates and Reno. And um, yeah, my last deck is the Reno deck I'll show you afterwards. Um, this list is actually not good. This list um, is um, almost the list uh, Super JJ and Life Coach played in Neumünster at the uh, ELC Super uh, Esports Superstars, and um, it's just because I've never played Priest as well. That's my my huge problem. Um, I've never played Priest, uh, Rogue, and Reno Lock before the expansion came out, and then after the expansion, I spent only like approximately 20, 20 hours to play the game, and most of the time was just uh, try uh, to make a hunter that's working, which it did, but nah, forget about Rexa for the moment. So. Um, this list is kind of outdated. It was before the tournament. You want to play the 3-drop Blackwing Technician. I think it's really, really strong. Uh, I wanted to add it, but I had no time to test it at all. Um, I just cut one potion of Madness. And uh, yeah, still playing Priest of the Feast, but it didn't help. So you want to cut Priest of the Feast. Defender of Argus, I was in between. It was just a coin flip. I did just literally flip a coin if I should. <laughs> Play Defender of Argus once or Argent uh, or uh, um, the techn Blackwing Technician. And uh, Defender of Argus won. Um, uh, and I thought, like, maybe it's fine if you play Double Priest of the Feast, but it's just too slow. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you want to play Double Blackwing Technician, I think, at the moment. And uh, yeah, that were, uh, was my, my lineup for the best of five. One ban. Um, banning Greenalock myself. Um, yeah, try the decks. Um, if you want, also respond in the comments. Um, I, I really appreciate appreciate the criticism. Um, my fifth deck, uh, and this one I had to play in the best of uh, seven in the top eight, um, was this deck. Actually, it's um, also on the list of Super JJ and Life Coach. Uh, I changed two cards because I wasn't too convinced about the uh, uh, pirate package, about the two pirates. So I added some defensive cards. Um, I think Sanjin Shieldmaster, not the best card in the world. You want to play probably a silence in this slot, uh, Spellbreaker. And I don't even, I think I added Soulfire because I think they didn't run Soulfire, but I'm not too sure. Um, I think I added Soulfire because it's such a good card. So I wanted to play that and Mountain Giant as well. I'm not too sure. You can also play Big Game Hunter, but um, it's I've uh, playing playing a Reno Lock in the tournament was was very hard for me um, because I've never played it in my life more than ten times, I guess. So I was sitting there and I was like, "Hmm, this is the obvious one. This is the obvious one." But I have no idea, so I have to to think about everything uh, when I play Talk. And uh, yeah, therefore I, I did rope a lot and I missed uh, one obvious lethal. Um, it 
didn't really matter because I had um, uh, 100 or, or almost, I think it was 100% win rate in the next turn anyhow. So that was, but it's embarrassing if you play on a big stream and normally um, I don't miss lethal <laughs> and uh, I play a lot better, but, but it's just like playing it the first time and then you're you're in a in a huge tournament and like 60,000 people are watching you and it's not comfortable to play lists then. To be honest, I didn't think I make it to the top uh, eight because um, I wasn't able to practice. But uh, yeah, it did go very well. And uh, I show you how it ended up um, because I made a little spreadsheet here. So you can see which deck did perform well and which didn't. And um, let's start here. I don't know if it's, if it's large enough, but I think it is. Um, my group... Uh, was uh, I played versus Gara first and I, I managed to win 3-1. Three, um, three wins, uh, two wins with the Pirate Warrior against his Dragon Warrior, his Mullock Paladin, and then I lost against the Pirate Shaman. But my Dragon Priest, uh, yeah, did the, uh, yeah, did win, so I won the series 3-1. And after that, I had to face the uh, Kyrian World Champion Pavel, and uh, yeah, my Dragon Pirate Warrior 3-0. That was fun. Not for Pavel, he was a little bit salty. But uh, we did cast together afterwards uh, with Radu and uh, Pavel. And uh, yeah, it was uh, was very meme -y, So um, is that even a verb? Uh, yeah, check it out. And uh, also uh, the other cast was, was also very enjoyable with um, Radu and, uh, and Hafu. That was also fun. Uh, it was on the B stream. Uh, Okay, so I made it uh, through the group as uh, the first place, and afterwards I had a kind of rough uh, group with uh, life coach Amas and uh, Reynard. So I had to play life coach first. Uh, probably one of the players I didn't really wanted to face because I think Super Church and life coach, coach they they are practicing 100 hours a week, and I just I just practiced less than 10 hours a week. So I was pretty afraid because I think uh, he's highly favored because uh, he's just uh, in such a good state of, of mind. Okay, but I managed to, to win 3-2. Um, my, my Dragon Warrior um, did win the first two games, which was pretty important. Then his Tempo Shaman almost reverse sweeped me, but uh, my Miracle Rogue uh, was able to beat the Tempo Shaman, which was, uh, yeah, kind of lucky, I guess, in the end. And then I played versus Amas. Uh, this series I played fine against Life Coach, also against Pavel and also against Gara, I think. But then um, I struggled against Amas. I, I don't know, I, I made many misplay plays, um, which I normally don't do. Um, actually, I don't know why. I was kind of um, excited about the match, kind of nervous. And um, I did a few misplays. I could have won the second game. I throw the second game by picking um, the uh, uh, priest hero power because I was was overthinking. I tend to overthink sing things when I'm I'm nervous. And uh, yeah, he punished me, uh, and yeah, that was kind of embarrassing. But uh, he played well, I guess. So um, fair enough. Um, so I had to reface life coach who did win against Reynard, and I. Started again with Dragon Pirate Warrior. Um, ben was was the same one. Uh, he bent my priest. I bent his Reno Lock, and I uh, yeah Dragon Pirate Warrior did win two games in a row again. So I was leading 2-0, and then uh, I lost the mirror match. Uh, my draw was kind of shitty. I, I think I had to hero power turn three or something like that. And uh, yeah, in the end, uh, my Pirate Shaman uh, won against his Dragon Warrior, and yeah, so I was top eight. And there I had to face Talk, um, a French player playing for Millennium. And uh, I was kind of surprised because I almost, as, as you can see, uh, hit the good matchups in, t in turn one. Um, not exactly against Pavel, because Pirate Shaman is. It's um, Dragon Pirate War is not too bad against the Pirate Shaman, but as you can see, it's also not too good. Um, so, Pablo was the only one. But Life Coach, 
opening with Dragon Priest twice. I, I even thought about uh, opening with Miracle Rogue because of that. And uh, I must, uh, I thought he'd start with the Pile Charm and therefore I picked the Dragon Priest, which is a counter. But it, as you can see, it didn't uh, pay off here. Versus Talk. I wasn't even too sure what uh, what he will open, so I opened the Shaman because I thought most likely he will open Shaman as well. And uh, he banned my, uh, my my Dragon Pirate Warrior, yeah, which was pretty bad for me, but okay. So um, the first game I won, then he won with his Dragon Priest, and then I counter queued him with Miracle Rogue, but I lost this one. And therefore I did win with the Reno Lock, uh, which still was open, which was like my first Reno Lock win in the history of <laughs> tournaments for me. And uh, afterwards he win won against the Reno Lock with his Miracle Rock, so at least won one here. And uh, Dragon Priest was kind of tough against the Miracle Rock. I think he kind of misplayed that one, I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, in the end, um, his Pirate Warrior, he had a perfect draw. Dragon Priest should be favored, but I just lost to, to his draw, and my draw was um, not too good. Yeah, um, I missed Lethal in the Reno Lock versus Dragon Priest uh, 1, as I mentioned. And uh, it, overall, um, I wasn't too glad uh, with my performance, uh, except uh, the games versus Life Coach. There were some tough decisions. Uh, which I managed to yeah, to decide very well. Okay, my lineup um, was therefore Dragon Pirate Warrior, Dragon Priest, Pirate Charm and Miracle Rock in the best of five. In the best of seven, the Reno Lock comes and joins the group. And uh, I played four times against Dragon Warrior or one time against Pirate Warrior, so 3-1. Moloch Paladin Gara was playing it, as you can see here. Uh, 1-0 against Shaman, it wasn't too good, um, most of the time because I didn't draw too well against the Shamans. I think it's a little bit draw dependent, but still it's one of the worst matchups for the Dragon Pirate Warrior. And Dragon Priest is pretty pretty easy, so 3-0 here. Total 9 wins, 4 lose, uh, losses, and almost 70% win rate in this tournament, uh, Yeah, which is amazing. And one ban. This deck uh, carried me. Dragon Priest... Um, uh, 0 1 versus uh, Warrior, 1 1 versus Shaman, and uh, 1 win versus the Rogue, which is kind of, um, yeah, it it's kind of unusual uh, to win against the Rogue. But my Rogue um, did lose against the Dragon Priest as well, so yeah, that's kind of messed up, but never mind. Okay, so all in all, I, I went 15 11 and uh, yeah. 58% win rate. The highest win rates in the tournament was uh, Orange with 68, I guess. Who, yeah, he, he managed to win uh, the Seed Story Cup, followed by um, by the 60%, I guess. So I, I wasn't too bad with the win rate. And if I just have played uh, the matchup against Amas a little bit better and uh, against Talk, I could have gone far. And. Um, I was kind of surprised because I didn't really practice. So uh, I think um, before the tournament I was like, okay, where should I focus? Casting, uh, playing tournaments, playing ladder, um, doing events, and or streaming because I, or, and team management. Because I, I, I did all that stuff and um, it was very hard the, the past two months. And I think I want to focus more on tournaments, not on ladder. I think ladder is a waste of time at the moment. It gave me so many bad experiences and it's not worth the lifetime you spend at the moment, I think. I'm not too sure because ladder changed. I was too frustrated at the end of the last season where I had to face 41% uh, shamans and I uh, missed the top 100 and also the top 200 uh, by only a couple of places because I had a losing streak um, with 16 loses over 17 games or something like that and I was just frustrated. I didn't even do something really wrong I guess. Um, I had a couple of good players uh, watching me then because I was like come on guys please check out my gameplay and yeah. but. Um, the tournament it, uh, was, was great fun and uh, I think I, I want to concentrate more on, on those tournaments.
Yeah. Okay, um, so if you want, um, yeah, you can build the decks. Um, here are the decks again. Uh, leave a comment, please, uh, in a reply, and I'll also tweet the deck list. So, uh, yeah. Um, the only thing I have to say is um, take care. Um, already a nice Christmas to, to you guys. Uh, have, a, have a great time. And uh, if you want to check out the decks, uh, give it a try. See you soon.